Joining us today on Morning Blend, Jamie White, White Law and Alchemist. Jamie, welcome to The Blend. Great to see you again. Oh, good to see you, Deb. Thanks my for having me. Yeah. My understanding is that there's a new law allowing people to, to erase criminal records. Elaborate on that a little bit for us. That's correct. It's really exciting. Uh, Governor Whitmer um, signed a law um, a couple of months back um, creating an avenue for people to get their criminal history um, expunged. You know, it's not for everybody, but Michigan now is one of the more progressive states that is going to um, allow people that made mistakes when they were younger or maybe not even younger, but, you know, made mistakes. Um, they'll now be able to uh, get their records cleaned as of April the 1st. Some people might say that that's a disservice. I mean, they, they got caught doing something, they were prosecuted for it, and now no one's going to know about it. I mean, that like nothing ever happened, but th there's got to be another part to this. That is a legitimate point of view, Deb. Um, but I think when we look at the totality of the circumstances, what we see is that people who have made mistakes in the past are forever branded with the, these mistakes and they're not allowed into the job market. Um, they suffer other difficulties and society suffers far more from people not being able to participate in the mainstream um, as opposed to having notice of some mistake someone made when they were young, younger under the influence um, or what have you. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and that can be such a, a roadblock to creating a, a healthy, productive life that's going to be a benefit to all of society. And once someone gets caught up in the system, there's that tendency that they keep going in and out of the system. That's and correct. It, and it could be finances, finances that keep them from moving past it as well and having good representation, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I've seen people lose jobs at GM after 20 years because of you know, some mistake they made coming up to fruition, right? You know, even I remember a guy in particular that um, lost his job over marijuana. You know, this is about 10, 15 years ago. He had been there 10, 15 years. So, you know, this is going to be a good thing for a lot of people. And it doesn't apply to everybody, right? I mean, there are certainly certain crimes that will not, you will not be allowed to get off of your record. Um, and that's important to keep in mind as well. Yeah, just real quickly, another 20 seconds, who is eligible to have their records expunged? So it's a complex statute, um, but what I would say is that if you've had even multiple infractions, as long as it doesn't apply to what I call the biggie crimes, you know, murder, rape, some of the more significant um, physical injury crimes, they're eligible. We're taking applications right now, and if anybody wants some assistance, um, we can get started on a petition for them. We're doing free consultations for anybody that wants to find out what their rights are. Jamie White, White Law in Oakland. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Deb.